Team USA finished round robin pool play, beating longtime rival Canada 12 to 11 in a shootout before a packed crowd on Thursday night at the Riverside Aquatic Centre. In the Whitecaps, Canada took control of the game early with two goals in the first quarter. In the Blue Caps, the USA scored late in the period with a goal from Colleen O'Donnell. After one quarter, Canada led 2-1. to one. Canada pushed its advantage at the start of the second period with two unanswered goals. Mackenzie Fisher's first score sparked the American team. Then the USA scored twice, cutting Canada's lead to 5-4 to four at the half. Into the fourth and final period, Canada was still up by one. The USA responded in dramatic fashion, led by Kayla Gilchrist, who scored two of the three consecutive goals by the Americans in a span of less than four minutes to put her team up 9-8. to eight. But the evening's biggest star was Canada's Joelle Bacazzi, who scored the final of her five goals with 2.39 to go to tie it up, sending the game into a shootout. In the tenth shootout, the United States went back and forth with Canada, finally winning the game 12-11 to with a goal from Maddie Musselman. Each game, like you said, got kind of progressively harder, so just growing game by game and coming today and knowing it was going to be an intense and aggressive match and, and rising to the occasion. As the tournament goes on, it's just going to become more and more difficult as we go into the quarter semis and hopefully finals, you know, take it game by game and uh, opponent by opponent. And I thought we showed a lot of resiliency to, to come back from being behind and, uh, you know, just kind of stay in there, fight and claw our way back in there, and obviously to win in a shootout is... Really, what happened? Uh, it's always exciting, uh, a little nerve-wracking, but uh, it was a great win for, for our young group. After three days of the FINA Intercontinental Prelims, Team USA will head into the semifinals undefeated and in first place. For USA Water Polo, this is Cecily Seldeskog of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.